Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Apai King Carter here. Welcome to another video of the Stat Sheet Stuffer. We going up against the Dallas Mavericks tonight. I'm going to go ahead and try to put a beating on this team. But I know that we going up against a cheesy Dirk Nowinski. So of course, I got to watch out for him. I wish I was a power forward in this game. I wish me and, you know, Green could switch places. But of course, you know, they're going to put me on a small forward. And of course, they're going to try to put me on Monte Ellis low ass, low fast ass. I can't stand that goddamn boy. God damn it. But look, check things out, man. It's 6-2, slow game. My stat sheet is looking real scarce out there. I ain't got nothing going on. But of course, it's time for me to get involved in the offense. I'm tired of standing in the corner. They put me in the corner every game, and I got to kind of get out of my shell, let them know I'm a butterfly, got the rebound, put it back in, don't get the foul, but I get the layup to go. Making things happen. Now, I just wanted to say something real quick. I want to get things started off by saying... NBA 2K16 is about to drop soon, like a few months. It's dropping about a week early, but you can get it like a week and a half early. You know, then it usually comes out. It usually comes out like the first Tuesday of October, but this time it's coming out the last Tuesday of September. But you can get it like four days early. I want to know how many people feel like that's a great decision or a bad decision. Uh, leave your comment in the comment section. I want to know if you think 2K is either rushing it or if they're giving the fans what they want early. Now, check out that nice little poster I just put on right there. Hold up. Had to put my man Chandler on the poster. You know, he poops. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Trying to put his hands out, trying to get me in flagrant, trying to push me off balance. But nah, man, back to the situation with 2K, man. I feel like... You know, hopefully they didn't rush it because, of course, you know, I, got, I go out there every year and, you know, I say, hey, the game that they're working on is pretty good. And then every time we get the product, it seems like there's a, a couple glitches, there's problems. And, you know, whenever they fix it, they kind of break something else. So I just think that this might be an opportunity to put the game out a week early and try to get a couple patches and stuff out for day one and before the actual NBA starts and have them, you know, get a couple things done quickly with stats and everything like that. Because when you think about it, I remember when uh, NBA 2K came out and I think like several players had the same picture and the same stats and I think like uh, one letter off of each name, but they were all different NBA players. And people were like, hey, man, I'm playing my team, I'm getting these cards, and they look, they had the same name and picture. It's crazy. But, you know, I just think that, you know, hopefully 2K comes out with a plan. And, you know, of course, I don't know that plan. You know, I don't work for 2K. But hopefully that plan works. But did you see me just nail that three right there? Yeah, man, I'm working with a new jump shot. I got the jump shot the same as David Alpock and Carter. I recently streamed on uh, YouTube. And people were like, yo, that jump shot crazy. So, you know, I'm kind of seeing if I can get this jump shot down pack because I play online with David Ipod, King Carter, and I play offline with the stat sheet stuffer. So I need to learn this jump shot as much as I can. I'm not going to go ahead and tell you the jump shot because the jump shot is just too cash. I don't need everybody cashing out. But check out this alley, yo. Oh, my God. Did you see the 360, though? Check out your boy with the 360 playing nice out here. But it's 55 to 58. We're holding on to the game by three points. It's been a rough game. I will have to say Dirk Nowinski maybe has 40 points. He has to have 40 points. But did anybody see Steph Curry just throw me that alley-oop? No, I did not call for that alley-oop. Steph Curry threw that on his own accord. That was a pretty dope play to get me involved on a nice backdoor cut. But check me out in the post trying to get Curry in the game. Splash triplets are still alive. Don't forget. Me, Curry, Thompson, we all be hitting these threes out here. But check this out. I wanted to let everybody know that my boy Green also can hit threes too. I'm going to show you that play a little bit later in this video. Clay Thompson could not get his splash triplets on. But it's all good, man. We're going to play defense out here. Make sure that we try to get things done. But check it out. I want to tell you all about Dirk, man. Look at Dirk. Face up, jumper, hand all up in his face. And he still hits the twine. Dirk Nowinski hit four straight and like... A span of like probably like a minute and a half every time they give him the ball he's just hitting shots man it was just looking sad i just can't understand it man dirk the shot is just so clutch look <laughs> dirk the whiskey oh my god i think they said he had about 24 it's okay but he's, he's gonna end off with a 50 piece it's all good 
but it's 87 to 79. I came back in the game after being subbed out, and I get the cookies right there. We're out on a break. I hit my man Green. Don't know what he's doing. He passed it to Iggy. Iggy passes it back to me. I fake it. Go inside, kick it out to my man. Who is that? Oh, that's the homie. Yeah, that's the same homie that came from Brooklyn. It's all a little ass. But we don't know what we're doing here. Livingston passes me the ball. I don't know what to do with it. Passes to Space. Space can't hit the shot. Green gets the rebound. Kicks it back oh, to Livingston. Livingston kicks it back to me. So I decide, you know what? Let's just slow it down. I got a mismatch on me. And I get the nice post move to go. Boy, oh, boy. It was a crazy span of moments right there. We couldn't get anything done right. You know, I'm still working on my teamwork, man. I still don't have much team chemistry. I still don't have, like, the coaches respecting everything like that. So I'm working towards that. But I don't know what Rondo was trying to do right there, trying to get them cookies. But I kick it down to Iguodala. Iguodala gets the dunk. You know, we're doing it up, man. We're still down four points. I told you guys, man, I'm going to do everything I can to get my team into the game. So I call for the ball like I'm the point guard. Step out. See the double team. Remember I told you about that play with Green? Green nails the three. This is not a joke, man. The same thing he does in real life, he does it in game. Pretty dope. I really like the Warriors. Now, they subbed me out and kind of pissed me off. But the assistant coach was telling me that I was moving the ball right. I was getting assists. I was doing what needed to be done. And hopefully, we are rewarded, man. We're down two points. It's eight minutes left. I get subbed in. It's 99 to 107 with two minutes and some change left. My team took over. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should give praise. I don't know if I should give thanks. But we're not going to come out of here with this L because all I have to do is hold on. Now, with Monte Ellis missing that little floater right there, I'm going to go ahead and take control of this. I got the mismatch on me. You already know what it is. Give him a little shimmy, a little post-fade cash money. You hear him cashing in for the double-digit lead, making it do what it do. But game is over, man. It's 103 to 113. Ain't nothing they can really do to come back in this one, man. They don't even want to foul us. But did you see Barreo with the Euro? Putting stuff on his booty right there. Okay, okay. But, uh, hey, I just wanted to know. Make sure you guys enjoyed this video. You know what I'm saying? I hope you did. Make sure you guys leave a like. Don't forget to comment on uh, what you think about 2K16 and their launch date. Uh, as well as, you know, share this video with a friend. You know, the stat sheet stuff is here to stay until September, I believe. But uh, I may create him real early, man. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still trying to decide if I want to make my statue stuffer first or David I. Pocky Carter first. Matter of fact, leave that in the comment section um, as well. Dave Carter or the statue stuffer, day one of NBA 2K16. This is your boy IKC signing out, showing you guys that Hall of Fame verification. And by the way, don't forget, Jive Turkey did a bang up job on a new statue stuffer song. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys listen to it right here, right for this player of the game. Highlights, you already know what it is, man. But I'm out of here, man. Everybody stay up, stay blessed. And stay right with the world, man. Holla. King Carter. Apa. King Carter. He's back. King Carter. King Carter. Stack sheet stuff and talk to him. Uh. Hello, my name's Clutch Dave Carter. Started on the pond. Should have been a day one starter. I'm sunning these dudes. I'm LeBron James' father. Durant, he was impressive, but... Dave went harder, the best small forward hybrid, bring the rock up, probably drop a hundred again to bring my stock up, 6'9", 235, I can play the five, jab, step, then I drive, I can take advantage of the guards with my stride, Kawhi Leonard, wanna play D, get him fried, the human flamethrower was Dave Carter, stepping up my game in prime time, they can't guard him, step into my lane when I Drive, yo, don't bother. I just euro step to the side. I'm a globe trotter. <laughs> and if you ain't buying prime time, I'ma sell them. Fourth quarter when the game's real close, I just tell them. Give me the rock and the clutch. I call the play. People call me better than Mike, cause I don't fade away. I drive on first take, but I ain't Stephen A. Plus, I got a serious game, cause I don't even play.